Assalamu alaikum and hello. This is part 4 of our chapter 4 where in this part I just want to revise what we've learned so far during the part 2 di mana dia akan bersambung dengan video seterusnya untuk part 5. So what I'm going to focus in this part 4 video is about redox reaction. So kita akan revise how if you got one equation for you to determine which species undergoes oxidation or reduction. So let's go to what is the redox reaction first. Redox reaction is a reaction that involves two processes as I mentioned before, reductions and oxidation where during this process there will be certain changes for certain elements based on their oxidation numbers where there must be electrons transferred during that reaction whether the electrons was being donated or that electron was being uh, accepted. What I have here is the illustration that shows the differences between oxidation and reduction based on their definition itself and their oxidation number and also how you want to determine whether your substance that you are focusing about is being reduced or is being oxidized. So let's use one example here. I have one redox reaction where H2 reacts with Cl2 to produce 2 HCl. So check first whether this reaction is balanced or not. So I got here my reaction already balanced. And the next one, benda pertama, in order for you to identify the species based on these questions is by determining which one is going to be the first couple and the second couple. What I'm talking about right now is based on two processes. So, kita ada dua processes. That's why kita ada dua couples. So, couples yang pertama, pastikan antara reactant dan produk. So, right now, I have the first reactant is H2. So, it's going to be coupled with my product, HCl. And the second couple adalah the next reactant, Cl2, will be coupled with the same product. Sebab produk kita hanya ada satu sahaja. And the next one, based on these two couples, awak akan determine the difference of oxidation number. So right now, focus about H2 to produce HCl. So apa yang terjadi, maknanya yang kita nak tentukan oxidation number adalah berdasarkan elemen yang sama daripada reactant dan produk, di mana elemen yang sama adalah H. So what I'm going to calculate right now is the oxidation number for H in HCl. So how I want to determine that, kita sudah belajar cara untuk tentukan oxidation number di mana awak ada H2 sebagai diatomic molecule so dia akan sentiasa zero. And then same for Cl2 saya pun ada nilai 0 for its oxidation number and for HCl so based on this one I want H in HCl so which means awak kena calculate dia punya oxidation number di mana HCl adalah neutral compound so it means that total oxidation number adalah 0 and then kita nak nilai untuk H so plus dengan oxidation number for Cl Cl adalah halogen. So, halogen always negative 1. So, which means saya akan tambah sebagai negative 1 untuk oxidation number for Cl dalam kes ini. So, what will happen? I will equals to 0. And then the next one, I want to calculate H. So, it means that kita bawa lah rearrange negative 1 kepada right side. Dia akan jadi positive 1. Ini adalah oxidation number yang saya mahu untuk H dalam HCl. So apabila kita lihat di sini daripada 0 kepada positif 1, adakah ada peningkatan ataupun pengurangan? Jawapannya adalah ada increasing of oxidation number. So bila increase of oxidation number, it means that proses yang dialami oleh H2 adalah oxidation. So maknanya di sini prosesnya adalah 
oxidation and automatically kerana kita hanya ada dua proses sahaja apabila kita dah tentukan satu salah satu couple adalah oxidation the next one adalah reduction so what's next kita akan jawab soalan yang saya tulis dekat sini identify the species that undergoes oxidation so your answer must be H2 and why the reason sebab kita calculate based on oxidation number so kita kena bagi tahulah oxidation number dia increases itu reason dia very simple and then same as the question ask you which species is being oxidized ataupun yang menjadi reducing agent so of course we are talking about bahagian reactant so maknanya H2 adalah species yang menjadi reducing agent so next one i ask you to identify the species that undergoes reduction so maknanya kita tahu couple yang undergoes reduction adalah cl2 to produce hcl tapi apabila kita nak jawab soalan ini kita akan fokus bahagian reactant sebab dia yang mengalami proses tersebut produk telah mengalami maknanya dia dah has, jadi hasil so yang mengalami proses tersebut adalah di bahagian reactant so when i ask which species undergoes reduction so of course it's going to be cl2 and the reason adalah opposite kepada this one so maknanya oxidation number decreases and cl2 also is your oxidizing agent which means that cl2 is being reduced seperti mana kalau kita lihat dekat sini case ini cl2 dia punya nilai adalah zero sebab dia adalah diatomic molecule and right now i want you to calculate cl in hcl so it means that saya nak nilai this one so case yang sama masih lagi calculation yang sama apply the rules that you've learned from the previous video HCl adalah neutral compound so equals to zero and then I want to calculate Cl so which means saya kena tahu as general the oxidation number for hydrogen is positive one and then saya plus dengan Cl equals to zero so my calculation for Cl bila saya rearrange I will get negative one so I can confirm from here whether this is reduction or not based on my reason Adakah oxidation number dia decreases? So, daripada 0 kepada negative 1. So, maknanya jawapan saya betul. So, that's for you to double check. Bila awak nak tentukan dua couple ni, pastikan awak pilih couple yang senang untuk awak calculate oxidation number. Sekiranya dia mudah, so once you got the answer, the other couple adalah the other process. So, that's all for this video. Ini hanya introduction about redox reaction. So for the next video, saya akan focus more how to do the balancing of redox reaction. So thanks for watching.